Yeah. It's IBC 2024. We are on the Q Script booth here at the show, and I'm joined by Megan. Hi, Megan. How are you? Hi there. Good. How are you doing? Very well, thank you. Now, Megan, we're looking at your Say It um, platform here. Um, I know you've got a new um, update for it, but for those that might be watching this that haven't come across it before, just give us a little bit of, a, of an overview. Sure. So our Say It software is a voice-activated prompting software. It okay. takes your voice and creates a scroll controller out of it. So there's no need for desk controllers, foot controllers, or operators anymore. Okay. So what's new for IBC? So what's new for IBC is we have a 2.0 version, which allows you to ad lib uh, extremely well. We only look above a couple lines. Therefore, you can have a full conversation while say it's going um, okay. and it'll pick up on the script as soon as you get back onto it. Cool. We so also yeah. do four languages now. So okay. English, Flemish, Portuguese and Spanish. OK, should we have a demo? Yeah, definitely. <clears throat> so say it integrates um, with Qit and you can use the scroll controller to start the software. OK. And say it will start with prompting when it's enabled. So good evening and welcome to Global Insights Today. I'm Megan and we have an exciting lineup of stories from around the world to keep you informed and engaged. Our top story tonight is COP29 climate conference in Amsterdam. World leaders converge to address the pressing issues of climate change. Now, what the software will do is skip over SOTs, which is great because that's text that isn't read by the talent and therefore wouldn't be expected to go through the microphone. And as you can see, we can ad lib away. The Say It software is still on and going. And as soon as I pick up the next words, it'll keep um, tracking. We'll have live updates and exclusive interviews with environmental experts. <laughs> in Tech Spotlight, I can also put a little bit in here so that we can delve into the latest innovations from Silicon Valley. We got some AI breakthroughs, self-driving cars. So we've got the tech world covered kind of mix and match a little bit um, and it knows where you're going with it. So turning to in international affairs, we discuss the ongoing peace negotiations in Europe. Again, another little SOT that it's going to skip over for you. Can diplomatic efforts lead to a lasting solution? It's incredible. And I can promise there's no one behind the here. <laughs> no, no, yeah, nobody's scrolling for us. That's excellent. Yeah. So um, it's got obvious advantages, but it, it, who are the um, typical customers you're looking for for this? So typical customers are stations or prompter users that are looking to take away from the physical controller and really kind of automate um, the prompting world yeah. so that you don't have anything except for that microphone feed. You get rid of a lot of equipment. Um, you don't have to fix a voice, obviously, like you have to fix a scroll controller. So. Yeah, fantastic. And say it's been around for a little while now. Is this new enhancement available now? It is. Yep. We're shipping it um, and we have installations around the world. That's why we have the language options we do. So Megan, where can people find out more information? So they can go to our website, qscript.tv. Thank you very much indeed. Do check out the amazing update to Say It from Qscript. Uh, we're doing another video here at the show with one of the teams. So do check out that on our channel as well, as well as everything else we're doing at IBC, which is at kitplus.com.